Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking S-shaped logo using Adobe Illustrator. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is we are going to create a new document in Illustrator and I'm just going to go for a thousand by a thousand pixels and I'm just going to press on create. So now that we're in Illustrator, what we need to do is we need to come over here and find the rectangular grid tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it once on my screen to bring up this dialog box. And then I'm going to put in a few values. I'm going to have the width at around 750, the height at 770, the horizontal dividers at six and the vertical dividers at five. We actually might move the width in a little bit closer, but we'll just leave it for now. So once you've imported your grid, you can move it to where it needs to go. You can align it later on. But what we need to do is we need to come over here and find the shape builder tool. And what we are going to be doing is we're going to be drawing the rough outline for the S shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a kind of U shape there. And then I'm going to just repeat it on the other side. So now if you've done that correctly, you've got the base for the S logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color here and make sure that it's on black. And I'm just going to click on those two sections there. And then I'm going to grab the selection tool and then just make it maybe a little bit, um, you know, something like that. So anyways, once we have that, then we need to separate the grid and these two shapes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on those two shapes, double click it, and then I can get access to these two shapes and then I can move it away. And we don't need the rest of the grid, so we're just going to delete it. So now once I have my S, what I can do now is I can just uh, align it. And now I can start to work on the curves. So now to curve some of the sides of the S, what we need to do is we need to grab the direct selection tool. And so what we're going to, going to do is we're just going to grab these two points here. And if I bring them in like that, now I'm creating that curve. And so I can do the same for this one over here. And you can see that it's not really that hard to do. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a curve in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold shift and click on those two points and bring them until they meet to create that curve in there. And then I'm going to do the same for these two points as well. So I'm going to bring that until it hits. And now we have that nice S curve. Now for this side, what we are going to do is we're just going to cut a slice out of this S. So I'm just going to grab the pen tool and I'm just going to roughly just cut a triangle like that. So once I have that, then I can just uh, highlight both those shapes and then I can just come over here to uh, trim. And then if I just get rid of that initial triangle, now I've got that nice uh, shape there. And what I'm going to do with that shape as well, I'm just going to curve the bottom down here. So I'm just going to click on that and then just put a slight curve like that. And now what you want to do is you just want to make sure that it all lines up uh, nicely. If you need to come over here and move any of these, you can just grab one of these uh, points with the direct selection tool and then just move it to how you like. So now I've got this part of the S and that's looking pretty cool. I'm actually just going to duplicate that. So I probably am going to get rid of that top part. Hold Alt to duplicate it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it until it fits like that. And now what you want to do is you want to just make sure that you fit it into that area. So now the final thing to do is to just bring this top part of the S just in slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the pen tool and I'm just going to click from this point to this point just to find the middle point. And then I'm going to click on that middle point, make sure that I get off that section. And then I'm just going to draw a, just a small marker there just so I can uh, then get the direct selection tool and then highlight all these points and then just move it over until it hits that point there. And so once you've done that, then you can get rid of those pen points that you've got and just delete them. And that's basically it. 
So once you have that finished, then you can save that as an Adobe Illustrator file or save it as a PNG and then put it into your Photoshop documents, etc. So anyways guys, that was a quick tutorial on how to create a very simple S logo. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.